father of us all, and through his son who came to save us, there is one God living in us all. We And through his son 
Good morning. Welcome to St. Robes of Lima. Today we celebrate the Mass of the Epiphany of the Lord. The Mass intentions are for Hugo and Helen Bodker. Our elected will be Randy Grossman. Father Schoen is presiding over the Mass. My name is Noah, and Sherry Frum will be accompanying us. Our opening hymn will be number 104, We Three Kings, number 104. Please stand. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Fields and fountain moor and mountain Bowing on the star Oh, star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever ceasing, never over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense to offer I have, Incense on a deity high, prayer and praising, gladly raising, worship him, God on high. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading still. Proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Welcome as we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. As we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we acknowledge our sins. You came to live among us, being born of Mary and raised by Mary and Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Your presence among us was first witnessed by the shepherds. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were then revealed to the nations through the presence of the three kings. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. 
You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Jomadaries from Midian and Epha and from Sheba shall come bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. judgment and all the king and with your justice the king son he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment Lord every nation on earth will adore you justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more may he rule from 
sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isle shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lonely and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed, to his holy apostles and the prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophets. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd his people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. 
When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, the three set out. The star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their own country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Welcome, glad to have you here as we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany of the Lord, formerly called the Feast of the Three Kings. A few decades ago, it was celebrated on January 6th and then moved to the second Sunday after Christmas so that everyone could celebrate it as the weekend liturgy. We celebrate kind of the 12th day of Christmas today in our country and the western part of the world. The eastern part of the world now is preparing for the celebration of Christmas. So just uh, talk a little bit more about that after a while. On the window over at the office there is a nice article from the Globe talking about the 12 days of Christmas. So this is the 12th day of that, and very fitting this year that it is the climax of the Christmas season, that being the Feast of the Epiphany or the manifestation, or the being made known of Jesus to the nations, uh, represented by the three kings that we had walk in procession here at the beginning, and then very symbolically went back to where they came. So the crib scene is complete. I encourage especially the young people to go take a look at that after Mass, uh, as the three kings are in their place of worship there. I did hear someone earlier this week at one of the nursing homes talk about... Uh, Christmas being over, and they were taking down the decoration. They said, well, wait, now it's, how can you, or they were saying like that Christmas was the final day of Christmas. Well, how can you have the final day? How can you have 11 days before the first one? And just like if you were celebrating the first 12 days of May, for example, you wouldn't celebrate from April 20th to May 1st. You would celebrate May 1st to the 12th. So same thing with Christmas. You can't celebrate 12 days of Christmas until you have the first day until you celebrate the actual day of Christmas. So that's what we do, and today we have the 12th day of the Christmas season. When I was uh, in seminary, we spent a semester in Israel. We got there the 4th of January. So then on the 6th, we went to Bethlehem, because that is the Orthodox celebration of Christmas. So this week, there'll be big celebrations for the Eastern Church in Bethlehem to commemorate the birth of Jesus. There'll be all kinds of bishops from the Eastern Church that'll be there to celebrate that. So people in Bethlehem kind of get to celebrate Christmas twice. So I'm sure that there'll be lots of people there commemorating that. Here in our country, hopefully it's a major celebration yet. In our diocese it is because you probably all know our church is named St. Rose of Lima. So we remember that every August 23rd, which is her feast day. If you're in Rome where the Pope is, you know, the church is St. Peter's Basilica. Certain days remember St. Peter. Our diocesan church is called the Cathedral of the Epiphany. That's the church in Sioux City where the bishop presides. So today is the feast day of our diocese, of our diocesan church. And as has been the case since our diocese started 117 years ago, this is the day that the bishop in his uh, workers at the Chancery will celebrate Christmas, and they'll be opening their gifts and celebrating Christmas today. And it makes sense to open presents today since the kings bring gifts today. They bring the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to Jesus. So what better day to celebrate gift-giving than today? In our country, we do it on the first day rather than on the last day of the Christmas season, though. So that is what we celebrate today, and we heard in the readings... Uh, again, more fulfillment. In the first reading from Isaiah, it talked about people coming with dromedaries and caravans of camels. Right? So we believe that's fulfilled in the three kings. 
we heard the story there, and again, Herod was a paranoid man who cared only about maintaining his power as the local king of, of the people around Jerusalem. He even had certain members of his family executed because he thought that they might try to take over from him. So he was a very bad man that way. So he wants to find out where this supposed future king of the Jews is so that he can eliminate him. But when the shepherds are warned that that is his plan, they don't go back to Herod. They go back to their own place without going back through Jerusalem so that Herod doesn't know where Jesus is. The word epiphany, as I mentioned briefly, means manifestation. So what does manifestation mean? Right, to be made known. So when Jesus is born, there's no one there, just Mary and Joseph. And then shortly after, we have the story of the shepherds. The shepherds are local people. They are Jewish people. So they are the first witnesses to Jesus' presence among us. The kings are not local. They are from a ways away. They are not Jewish, but they come anyway. So Matthew tells us that Jesus is the Lord, not only of the Jews, not only of the people of the area, but eventually of all nations, as represented by the three kings. So that is what we celebrate today. And Paul mentions that then in the second reading when he writes to the people of Ephesus. He says Jesus is not just, just for Jews, but for Gentiles as well. As a matter of fact, the Gentiles are equal with us because Jesus came for all of us. And that is the main celebration of the Feast of the Epiphany, that Jesus came not just for a few people, not just for the local people, not just for one faith, but for people of all places and all faiths, and that they can all come together to worship him. So just as the Magi brought gifts to Jesus, each of us today can think, well, what gift can I bring to Jesus right now today? My gift of faith, my gift of living out a Christian life, my gift of following his way of living. Whatever it is, today is a great day to think, what gifts do I bring to Jesus? Let's think about that for a moment now. We profess our faith, I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken from the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bring these prayers of today before God that all the people of God seek the Christ child with diligence and worship him with generous hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations recognize the truth of the gospel and serve their people with justice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who live in darkness of violence, poverty, and corruption find the light of peace, abundance, and long-lived justice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather at this table welcome immigrants, joyfully recognizing and valuing their gifts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That believers have freedom to practice their faith and all religious persecution end, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our offertory hymn will be number 317, The God of All Grace, number 317. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. All of creation joins us in praise. Lifting our voices, lifting our hearts to the glory of God forever. God of power and might, who into our presence this day, Strengthen us now with the spirit of faith we gather in your name. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. All of the creation joins us in praise. Lifting our voices, lifting our hearts, to the glory of God forever. God of mercy and truth, who brings us from night into day, nourishing eyes with the spirit of hope, and shield us from all fear. God of all grace has blessed us this day. All our creation joins us in praise, lifting our voices, lifting our hearts to the glory of God forever. God of wondrous love, Compassion and glory are yours. Come fill our hearts with the spirit of love, the joy we find in you. The God of all grace has blessed us this day. All of creation joins us in praise. Lifting our voices, lifting our hearts to the glory of God Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, look with favor on these gifts of your church, in which are now offered not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal God. For today you revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations, 
And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. So the angels and archangels and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Holy Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Martyrs, and all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Walker our Bishop, the order of bishops and clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. For our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Yes, we offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Thank you for serving. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. God's holy gifts, O God's holy people, come now to share the banquet of Christ. Feed on his love with faith and thanksgiving, 
Know in your heart that he died for you. May the body of Christ be food for our soul and bring us to everlasting life. God's holy gifts for God's holy people Come now to share the banquet of Christ. Feed on his love with faith and thanksgiving. Know in your heart that he died for you. May the blood of the Lord protect us from harm and mark us as God's beloved ones. God's holy gifts for God's holy people come now to share the banquet of Christ. Feed on his love with faith and thanksgiving. Know in your heart that he died for you. As the grain of the bread was gathered as one, may we who believe be bound by love. God's holy gifts for God's holy people Come now to share the banquet of Christ Feed on his love with faith and thanksgiving Know in your heart that he died for you As the cup that we share is emptied for all, may we offer up our lives in love. God's holy gifts for God's holy people, come now to share the banquet of Christ. Feed on his love with faith and thanksgiving. Know in your heart that he died for you. When we eat of this bread and drink of this cup, we hold in our memory Christ the Lord. God's holy gifts for God's holy people Come now to share the banquet of Christ. Feed on his love with faith and thanksgiving. Know in your heart that he died for you. Please join me in number 103. What star is this? Number 103. What star is this with beams so bright? More lovely than the noonday light Descend to announce a newborn king Got tidings of our God to bring Tis now fulfilled what God decreed From Jacob shall a star proceed and lo, the eastern sages stand to read in heaven the Lord's command. O Jesus, while the stars of grace impels us on to seek thy face, let not our slothful hearts refuse 
the guidance of thy light to use. To God the Father, heavenly light, to Christ revealed in earthly night, to God the Holy Spirit raised an endless song of thanks. So I want to thank everybody who uh, gave cards and gifts of any kind, money or food, for, to me for Christmas. Thank you very much. I have plenty of cookies and sweets for a while. I, uh, I guess I just never figured out that it's okay to put some of them in the freezer till later. Uh, we will have Mass one more time yet tomorrow on Monday. Father Paul will be here and I'll be in Vail. Wednesday, our student mass will also be celebrating the Feast of the Epiphany with the school children and commemorating all the different things in the Christmas crib scene. Again, free books in the back, uh, calendars for 2020, sign up for pictures, and information's in the bulletin again. If you haven't done so, please do that so we can have everybody uh, get their picture taken for our parish directory. I will be gone Thursday this week, <clears throat> so Father Paul will be here for Mass, though, but uh, I'll be going up to uh, Rochester to play in a ball tournament, so I guess you can keep that as a prayer that neither me nor anybody on my team gets hurt. <laughs> and also, don't tell my mother that I'm going there. <laughs> uh, let us pray. Lord, go before us with heavenly light, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. We bow our heads and pray for the blessing on the Feast of the Epiphany. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Since in all confidence you follow Christ, who appeared today to the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you a light to your brothers and sisters. And so that when your pilgrimage is ended, when you come to him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Celebration of the Epiphany is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Our closing hymn will be two verses of number 98, Angels We Have Heard on High, number 98, and have a wonderful day. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strain. Shepherds, why?
bride is jubilee, why your joyous strains prolong? Say what may the tidings be, which inspire your heavenly song? Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis.